Hey friends, hope you're doing well. We're talking today about keys for Eagle Brook Music's song, We Believe. I know for me, anytime I play keys, which isn't super often, but every single time I do, the, the challenging question is always this. What the heck do you cover live? Because there's, like on this song, there's like 12 different parts that come in and come out. So um, we broke it down into kind of the four that felt like the best way, best place to start in terms of what we play live. And what determined that for me was what brings the most energy. Ben Early and I talked the other day about it and just kind of locking down on what is foundational for the song. And primary part one is piano. So the piano is really broken down into two parts. There's just the big open diamonds. And then there's this high, softer, sweeter thing for the, for the turns. You could do like a layer to combo that. Some of you guys do that on Keyscape, which is... Uh, excuse me, on main stage, which is super, super cool. But I'll just walk you through the sounds that we used on the recording. If you're curious, um, the main uh, the main keys are this uh, noir, pure piano and the emotional patch. And I literally just jumped an octave down here because I don't have enough keys to do the whole thing. But that's just throughout the whole song is those big old diamonds. Um, and then on top of that, on the intro, you have this going on, which is another noir. It's the noir felt. It's called smooth and deep felt. And it's just literally these octaves. And so there's, it brings a little bit of a kind of a tenderness to it, which is super cool. That's keys one and keys two throughout the whole song. Um, keys three is this just kind of sweet pad that is really nice. Uh, it comes from Spitfire Audio Labs. I've made a plug for this before, but it's a free patch. They make all of these different uh, keys sounds and samples that are unbelievable. So this is just one of the stock pads. It's pad number four with a few, a few parameters changed. Um, but like through those verses, I use this even for like at the end of a service, you know, or a CP underscore sometimes. It's a super great kind of texture sound. That's keys three. And then keys four, um, what we got going here is a combination. What I did in the demo was a combination of the low arp and the high arp. Um, the low arp is just in that second verse. And then on the, the next chorus and the outro, it's kind of the same thing, just an octave higher and a different sound. So verse one, verse two, excuse me. That's all that it is. It's just this sound from Omnisphere. It's called Dancing Cedars Pluck. It's a great little patch. It's kind of dark, tucks in nice, and it pairs really well with what's going on on the electric guitar. And then when we get into the turnaround uh, after the second chorus, we're going to another one. It's, now uh, let's see here, what is it called? It's called Modern Ober Oct. It's the exact same line, basically, just an octave higher. 
We'll use that on that last turn going into the bridge and then the last outro. And then the final thing that I put in that track is on the, on the stems and the, when we run tracks, it's called Bright Bell Lead Pad. And it's another patch from Omnisphere. It's just called Octoball Lead. And it's just on that last chorus, just to let it get a little bit of lift and feel like it opens up. Um, I think at the end of the day, whatever you choose to play is going to be great. You don't have to cover everything. I think that's the, the pressure that we feel when we play keys is like, man, I want to play all the stuff and all the moving parts. But play what you can just hit a home run on and let tracks be your friend and come around and support you. Um, but a few of those different things, will, no matter which one, you put, which one you pick, it will give a ton of energy live, which I think is really important. So um, we'll post connected to this video tutorial, we'll post a link to all of the different patches and sounds that we used on this so that, you know, we can continue to grow our arsenal of sounds and libraries and things. Um, but I continue to learn a lot from each and every one of you every single weekend. So I'm super pumped to hear how you interpret this song. Would love to hear your feedback on what you're playing live, how it's working for you. Thanks so much for being a part of our team and playing these songs. See you later. Have a good one.